the team overachieved for the most part. You know, they were picked to finish sixth in the preseason, and they actually ended up finishing sixth, which is pretty funny. Uh, that's just because of the Big 12 was so strong this year. Uh, but I think the team certainly overachieved. This was a team that lost their goal, lost their senior goalkeeper. They came out with a starting freshman goalkeeper, Sarah Peters, and did very well early in the season. Um, and then in the middle of the season, they kind of floundered a little bit. But overall, I think uh, it's, it was a, su a successful season. And I think if you talk to Mark Francis, he'd say a second-round trip to the NCAA tournament would would be a success. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, I think they would have liked to have done better in the Big 12 tournament. Uh, but I mean, overall, I feel like this season was 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 a success for for the team. Um, she's been back there all season for us, so I think this is just another game for her. But she's made a, amazing saves back there, not only this game but just all year. So all credit to her and the coaching staff. Uh, Katie McClure was uh, outstanding this season, and she was really good last season too. Obviously, um, you know, 112 goals at her high school. Which is the current team record, the current record there. Uh, so she's just a goal scoring machine. And when I talked to Mark Francis, uh, he told me that really the biggest change from Katie in previous years to this year was that not only was she being able to score goals, but she was also being able to use her speed and agility to create opportunities for other players. Uh, that was the big difference with Katie this year is that she was less focused on, obviously she was still scoring goals, uh, but she was less focused on scoring goals as much as getting into the box and being able to not only focus on trying to score, but also looking for uh, teammates in the box as well. And I think uh, part of what has made Katie so great over these past couple of years has been that she's got to play alongside Grace Hagen. I mean, Grace Hagen is, is an elite player, uh, first team all Midwest region outstanding and Grace also helps create opportunities for Katie and vice versa. So I think next year, Katie's senior year, is going to be a very interesting year for her because she's not going to have uh, that player across from her at the forward position. So I'll be curious to see what she does uh, as a senior. No, I think, you know, Katie obviously has a lot of ability when we recruited her and I think she's developed um, and really, she's a very coachable kid, you know, so I think she's really picked up on uh, uh, just different things that we've tried to get her to do. And I'll also say when she came her freshman year, and she'll laugh when I say this, but her training habits weren't that great. You know, she was a bit lazy in training. Does that sound yeah. familiar? So we were on her constantly freshman year, and about halfway through freshman year, she kind of figured it out. Uh, and now she's one of the hardest working kids every day. So I think <coughs> that part of it has really, has really contributed to the fact that she's been able to develop and, and get better as a player. So, And I think... The thing with Katie is that uh, she's a very, very emotional player, which can be very good and very bad. Um, you know, at certain certain games of the season, you can kind of see if she misses a shot, she, she turns off a little bit. But, I mean, she's extremely emotional, uh, and I think uh, her play on the field reflects that. Um, but in terms of being a leader, you know, that's a, that's a role that she's going to have to step into, I think, uh, because obviously with players like Grace Hagen leaving and Lauren Bashirs, who was a big locker room leader for that team, uh, also graduating as well, and uh, Taylor Christie, players like that. So Katie's really going to have to step up and fulfill that role, uh, both on the field and off. Mm -hmm. Team chemistry, um, we've had it from ever since the summer, like we've all been here, and um, just how resilient you are, like Coach said, like we are all playing for each other. That's our team motto, it's who do you play for. So I think that motto really sticks out um, for our team, and it shows like who we actually really are. That's that's sometimes that's been a struggle for KU, but I, I mean I think the biggest takeaway is definitely the youth on this team, the experience that they gained this year, um, of having the highs of overtime wins, and and in the Big 12 tournament, and then in the NCAA tournament as well, uh, because obviously you know they didn't make the tournament last year, so uh, I think the NCAA tournament provides really great experience for those players uh, to have an opportunity to taste that and to to try to get better over the off season.